I think a lot of people in the art business, as well as my friends, have my best interest at heart. They were saying, you know, you're completely insane for doing this. You'll destroy your reputation as a portrait painter. No one, you know, sensible will ever kind of come and ask you to do their portrait again. We're going to be showing some very, very uh, hardcore pictures disguised as fine art in one of the sort of shishiest and most anally retentive shopping districts in the world. When people realise that actually something which looks like a sort of beautiful classical painting is actually made from real hardcore filth, it's a great moment. And the idea is to build it up. Adding detail, which is where you find things where there's a bit of something kind of unsavoury going on, bits of, you know, kind of genitals or an activity or something like that, which sort of really makes it very, very clear what the material is that it's come from. The schedule now is, firstly, panic. Secondly, work 24 hours a day um, with the help of sort of vast quantities of um, amphetamines, and I might just about get things done on time. I'm extremely happy with the way the paints have turned out. It was good to come and see them before they actually get crated and shipped off. It'll be interesting to see what the clientele of Beverly Hills average age of 97, I'm gonna think. Are we cutting it fine at all? Shipping things to Los Angeles, they're yes. full of pores. Yeah, and it's a pain in the ass to get stuff into. I've only got about 10 to finish in the next week or so before I go. But, um, well, it, what, it, what the hell are you doing here then? <laughs> get back to the yeah. bloody studio. We're walking the frames round to Lazaridis. Every time I walk past the gallery, I keep laughing, thinking, oh my God, we're actually in the middle of Beverly Hills. It just seemed the most retarded thing we could possibly do. I'm not worried about this, I know where they're going. So it's kind of, all I need now is wallpaper. The pressure's building, and also there's been last minute hitches with frames and things like that. Do you want some of my coffee? Yeah, go on. There's still little uncertainties, and it's making them quite stressed. That kind of a day. I think I've only destroyed two of the pictures. Something's done up smash. And getting heart-shaped, museum-coated, non-reflective UV motherfucking glass to go in the windows in heart shapes in a day. Johnny will do it on the condition that he gets Play Bunny of the Month to do it, interview him naked. Is that possible? Yeah. It's, it's, she's not joking, it's two porn stars interviewing me on the radio. People might get completely the wrong idea or think we're just sort of arrogant or stupid or taking the piss, um, which we are, of course. I'm taking my art dealer who has Tourette's syndrome onto the second most listened to radio station in the, in the States. Uh, and we're going to be interviewed by two porn stars, apparently. Jonathan, you're welcome to Playboy Radio Series XM99. It's an awesome little book you got out here, Jonathan Yo. Where can people get a copy of your book if they're not at your book signings at Amazon? Um, Why is your book, which is called uh, XXX Porn in the USA, so unique, Jonathan Yo? Well, the book relates to an art exhibition we're putting on in Beverly Hills. Okay, right, enough of this filth, let's get out. They, they were convinced that Johnny has a book available through lazaridis.com. I, I don't fucking understand what you're on about. What do you mean, where does the contact go to? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Then all we need to do is make it. We have a week to make a book that doesn't exist at the moment. Exactly. Nothing I love more yes. than a challenge, So this Johnny. book that's on sale yeah. this week, yeah. Yeah. is, it, is, what, is yeah. it available on Amazon? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Possibly, Maybe. I think at the end of the show it will be. <laughs> all we need to do we is to, um, we make it. Make it We've got all the images though, it shouldn't yeah. take too long. Um, we, could, we could possibly even do that here. Yeah. I mean, um, I imagine um, we could take enough pre orders off that. Will, will, will they fit? It's an insanely expensive project, um, it's a massively expensive space. Otherwise, other galleries would be doing it on that scale. Um, flying all the stuff out from London, bringing people out from London, having to make a lot of noise out here locally because they don't know you.
Where is the boss? He, no one's yeah, heard anything from him. Whoever is over us. Usually, at this time of night. Yeah. He, he doesn't like openings. He, he doesn't really like art, in fact, now that I think about it. He doesn't really like anything. Um, to be so several hundred thousand dollars down if nothing sells, it'll hurt if it does badly. I think someone rang me up and was like, Oi, Johnny's doing pictures made of penises. And I was like, that sounds fantastic. When can I see some of that? Even though he's sneaking in buttholes and nipples and all kinds of nasties, guess what? The guy's a technician and it reads as technically refined, gorgeous work. I would then immediately think of Johnny O and Steve Lazaridis necessarily in the same box, but then why the hell not? Now that he's brought it here to the States, I think it's going to open him up to a whole new market. I think he's going to be a smash hit over here. I really like Jonathan's show. I love the metaphor that things might not be what they initially appear to be, that you need to take a closer look. I love how subversive it is to see Tiger Woods and he looks great, flattering portrait from a distance. You get up close and it's, uh, it's made out of pornography. It's very sinister. suddenly everything coming together at the last minute actually looking sort of better than I dared hope um, yeah it's a huge relief and so I'm, I think I'm still in a sort of, sort of dazed state that it's all you know we've got away with it mm -hmm.